In this demonstration, you'll learn how to use the features of ANSYS Help. ANSYS Help provides you with the latest product help documentation. You also gain access to our tutorials and videos in a single convenient location, accessible from all your internet connected devices. When you install most ANSYS products, your system is set to access ANSYS Help. You can access the help by simply clicking Start, ANSYS Release, ANSYS Help. Additionally, the Help option in most of the ANSYS products accesses the ANSYS Help. Let's start by examining the ANSYS Help Welcome page. The links located on the upper right side of the page give you access to the ANSYS How-To Videos channel, the ANSYS Customer Portal, and the ANSYS website. Note that you will need to register for an account to access ANSYS Help at ansyshelp.ansys.com and the ANSYS Customer Portal. By clicking the Release drop-down, you have access to earlier versions of the Product Help documentation. There are several ways to access help for your ANSYS products. Clicking the See All Help option displays a list of all products, Clicking any of these links takes you to the individual product help page. Clicking any of the product icons takes you directly to the product's help page. To locate the icon for a specific product, click the alphabetized link at the bottom of the screen that corresponds with the product you wish to access. Entering search text in the Search ANSYS Help field returns a list of results across all products. To filter the results, Click the Search Filters option. From here you can View Saved Filters, use the Advanced Search options to limit the search to titles, whole words, case sensitivity, and exact text match, and filter by release number, help format, product, or product type. To create a filter, select the filter options you want and click Apply. Your search is filtered based upon the options you selected. These options are displayed above the search results. You can remove any of the filter selections by clicking the appropriate item. Clicking the filter icon displays your selections. To save your filter selections, click Save and enter a filter name. You can also make this filter your default filter by selecting this option. After you have named your filter, click Save. Your filter is saved here. To remove a filter, click Save and start to type the name of the filter you wish to edit. Select the filter name and click Delete. Now let's look at the content of a product help page. Typically, each product help page will include documentation, tutorials, and videos. To simplify your results, the search field automatically filters the search to your current product page or individual document. Clicking the star next to the product name defines this product as a favorite. Your favorites are displayed on the ANSYS Help Welcome page. Clicking any link under the Documentation or Tutorials headings displays the table of contents for that document as well as breadcrumb links. By default, the table of contents is open. You can close it by clicking the X and reopen it by clicking the contents icon. From any document page, you can select a link from the table of contents or you can click the next and previous arrows to move through the document section by section. You can also expand and collapse the entire table of contents. To discuss the tutorials and videos, let's return to the CFX product page by clicking the appropriate breadcrumb. Most tutorial links take you to a table of contents for that tutorial. In some cases, tutorials include input files. Clicking the Tutorial Files and PDF option downloads a compressed file containing the project files and PDF instructions for that tutorial. Clicking any link under the Videos heading opens another tab displaying the selected video from the ANSYS How-To Videos channel. This concludes this overview of ANSYS Help.